Welcome to the VXD Pre-Action System Single Interlock Pneumatic Release Simulation Scenario. We're going to cover what happens when a fire starts in a paint kitchen that is protected by a VXD Pre-Action System equipped with a Single Interlock Pneumatic Release, and what each component of the system does to ensure the fire becomes controlled as quickly as possible. The VXD Deluge Valve is a flood valve with only one moving mechanism. The valve is held closed by priming water pressure trapped in the priming chamber. This keeps the outlet chamber and system piping empty. The prime line directs water to the prime chamber of the deluge valve. The prime line consists of an open priming wall valve, a Y strainer, a restricted orifice, and a check valve. The Y strainer keeps debris from entering the restricted orifice. The restricted orifice reduces the rate at which water can enter the prime chamber, ensuring that prime water will drain faster than it can be supplied. The check valve only permits water to enter the priming chamber, allowing prime chamber pressure to be maintained. Following the trim off the prime chamber is the Pressure Operated Relief Valve, or PORV. The PORV is a device that ensures the valve remains in an open state until water is flowing through the valve. When water is directed to the sensing side of the PORV, the push rod is forced open. Priming water is then directed to the open drain, preventing the priming chamber from repressurizing. The pneumatic actuator is controlled by the release system. While closed, the pneumatic actuator keeps water pressure in the prime chamber. When a detection device activates and releases air pressure from the release line, the pneumatic actuator is activated open, releasing water pressure from the prime chamber. The Viking VK800 is a fixed temperature release that is installed along a pilot line to activate deluge and pre-action systems. It is available in a range of finishes and temperature releases to suit various applications. Due to its specialized design, it has spacing advantages over standard sprinklers in several situations. In a scenario where a fire has started in the pink kitchen and the heat increases, the VK800 fixed temperature release activates, releasing air pressure from the dry pilot line. After the air pressure has dropped enough, the PS40 low air supervisory alarm will be activated, which will send a signal to its monitoring device, which is in this case a VFR500 release control panel. As the air pressure in the dry pilot line continues to fall, the pneumatic actuator will activate, releasing the water pressure from the prime chamber. Once water pressure is released from the priming chamber, the clapper is forced open by the supply water pressure from the inlet chamber, filling the valve body and connected trim with water. The PORV is activated when water from the outlet chamber forces the push rod open, redirecting prime water out into the drain. Simultaneously, water will also fill the trim leading to the water flow alarm, causing it to activate, alerting its connected monitoring device. Water fills the system piping, but it's not discharged into the room. Once the heat rises enough to reach the sprinkler's rate of temperature, the sprinkler will activate. Since there's already water in the system piping, it is immediately discharged and the fire is controlled. The valve continues to supply water to the system until it is shut down.